Hello everyone, Skids here and today I'm going to show you how to install mods for Fallout New Vegas with Nexus Mod Manager manually and also how to install EMBs. First of all, let's take a look at the web page that you can download mods from. It is called nexusmods.com slash New Vegas. After you get to the page, you have to register for free. Now registration is very simple and after you are registered, you can log in and download any mods you want. First off, let's start off with Nexus Mod Manager. Now first thing you need to do is install it. As you can see right over here, you can install the newest version of Nexus Mod Manager from the Nexus Mod web page. So as you can see after you get to this page, all you have to do is pick up your system and install the Mod Manager itself. I personally use Windows 7. And now all you have to do is wait until the download is completed. After that, all you have to do is open the installation file and wait until the Nexus Mod Manager is installed. Now as you can see again, the installation of the manager is simple. You know, just like the usual installation you do for any other program. Now that the manager is installed, you can launch it. Now since I already had the Nexus Mod Manager installed previously, it does not scan for uh, any modded games I have installed, but if you're doing a first time installation, it will first scan your computer for any available moddable games you have in your system. Now that we've got Nexus Mod Manager out of the way, let me show you how you download mods with it. So since we are on a front page, let's uh, pick up some mod from it. Um, I don't know, let's just start off with, uh, for example, this weapon mod by Millennia, which is a fairly simple installation with Nexus Mod Manager. Now first thing you have to do is check out the description and what it says about installing the mod. Installation of this mod is very simple, all you need to do is copy and extract the archive into your data folder and check the ESP off in your data loader. And this can be done of course with Nexus Mod Manager, so all you need to do is click here on files and then download the mod. After that it will be added into the Nexus Mod Manager and it will be downloaded. So as you can see the mod was downloaded and then it was put in one of the categories. The mod we downloaded was the weapon, so it is of course added to the weapons category. After that you will need to click on its name and click this button which will activate the selected mod. Now since the new version of Nexus Mod Manager you no longer see the installation process. If you really want to see it you can go down here and check it out. As you can see the mod was installed and now it is activated. Now if you feel like you can also check out if its plugin is activated as well. And as you can see it's here right, right on the bottom. After you install your mod, then never forget to turn on the archive invalidation which can be found right over here. Now I already have it activated so let me just deactivate it. And don't forget like I said to activate it otherwise you will receive a lot of bugs in your game. And there we go we have it activated and now we can move on. And this is basically how you install mods with Nexus Mod Manager. It is really easy and I prefer to download mods with this method. Now let's take a look at manual installation. There are a lot of older mods or some other different mods that cannot be installed with Nexus Mod Manager or they do not have that option. For that you have to download the mod manually and then install it. This time as an example I chose New Vegas Railroads by Trainwiz. Now this is a mod that can be also installed via Nexus Mod Manager but now we are gonna check out how to install it manually. So as you can see right next to the download with manager option, there is also an option to download the mod manually. Now we're gonna click on it and the mod download will start. Now after the mod is downloaded you can put it on a desktop and that is I think the best way to work with it. Now let's take a look at my desktop and as you can see here we have the file. Now all you need to do is extract it. Now the good thing about New Vegas Railroads is that the, all the files are put into one folder. Now let's open the file and as you can see there are a lot of new folders that you can see. Now the next thing we want to do is open the file New Vegas folder, which location is of course custom for every computer. And now that we have it opened, let's take a look at the direction. Now here you can see a lot of new folders that share the same name as the folders in New Vegas Railroads. Now all we need to do is copy all of the files from this mod and then put them into Fallout New Vegas data folder. Now as you can see the computer will ask you if you want to merge the folders and you have to say yes to all of that. And there we go. Now the New Vegas Railroads is in your computer 
and the next thing you want to do is restart the Nexus Mod Manager and then activate the Mods plugin that is usually on the bottom if it is an ESP file but this time you because Railroads in ESMM file so it will be a little bit higher. Now that we activated it the mod should work. So yeah, now we have two most common mod installation processes behind us. And now I'm going to show you how to add mods to Nexus Mod Manager that only have a manual installation option. First of all, let's try and download mod like that. For example, let's take a look at Scratch Companion that can be located on the front page. Now again, this mod can be installed with Manager, but just in case this option wasn't here and you still wanted to install it with Manager, I'm going to show you how to do it. So again, download the mod manually. And then again, it is best to put it on a desktop so that you can find it easily with Mod Manager. Now let's open the Mod Manager up. And then you can see this little icon, which basically says add mod from a file. Now you want to click on it and then find your desired file. So as you can see here, we have Sketch Companions on a desktop. We're gonna open it. And after that, the mod is going to be added. As you can see, it was added into unassigned category. And you can find it right here. After that, all you need to do is again activate the selected mod. And as you can see, it was installed almost immediately. And now we're gonna take a look at plugin and it is indeed activated on the bottom. And this is uh, just another way on how to install mods that uh, could be only installed manually. Now there are of course some mods that really cannot be added with Nexus Mod Manager, even if the option is there. For example, EMBs or some other retexture mods. Now that we've got the basic installation of mods out of the way, let's take a look at EMB. Now this time I'm going to show you an installation of Rudy EMB, the EMB I use in my game. Now the EMB installation is a little bit special because you have to install it manually and also download a few mods from other websites. Now the great thing about Rudy EMB is that the latest EMB file that you need is in the description. Now all you need to do is open it and as you can see you will be sent to embdev.com site. Now scroll to the bottom and download the newest version of the EMB series. After that, as always, put it on the desktop and extract it. Now after that, you have to open the wrapper version, which is required for most of the EMB mods and copy these three files, D3D9DLL extension, EMB host and EMB local. Now after that, you have to copy them and put them into your file New Vegas folder. Now you don't put these files into your data folder, but instead you put them where your New Vegas launcher is, which is right over here, as you can see. And after that, you can just paste them. And since I already have uh, them installed in my game, I have to replace them. And as you can see, now they are in my game. And now we can head back and download the Rudy EMB itself. Again, just go to the files section and download Rudy EMB manually. After that you can go ahead and extract it again. After that you can choose what kind of version you want, either the natural edition or the usual one, which is the one I use. And after that you can pick up what kind of file you want. So as you can see there are tons of folders over here. Here is the alternate emblem mask, I don't use that one. Here is the one for better performance. This is the one for EMB local any, you don't need that. And all you need to do is open this folder and copy everything from it. After that, pass it again into your Fallout New Vegas folder, into the folder where your launcher is, which is right over here, and again, pass it. Now, since I already have the EMB installed again, I have to replace everything, and also merge the data files. And there we go, now we have Rudy EMB installed, and the installation process is very similar for any other EMB, and I don't think there are many differences between EMB installations. And yeah guys, I guess that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions for me on how to install any other mods, feel free to post them down in the comments. And yeah guys, I guess that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, tell me what you think about it in the comments, subscribe for more Fallout content, and I will see you next time.